Well, this is a too safe family. Look what I found upstairs. Mm, very nice. Mm, well, the stones are impressive, but the setting. Why is it that big fortunes and good taste so seldom coincide? Do we really have time for the critique? We have a busy night there. Well, we have plenty of time. When this gang goes to a charity dinner, they want their money's worth. You pay a thousand dollars, you want to linger over your brandy. But surely there are so many more houses we can explore. I think we've overstayed our welcome. What? Inspector Castillo. He's getting out of his car. What the hell are they doing here? I don't think it's a social call. Silent alarm. People are so suspicious these days. Yeah. Look at towards the back. I'll circle around. We'll talk later. here all right safe in the bedrooms up and there's stuff all over the place that's not his mo he's neat as a pin mcbrien will check the outside right yeah this is castillo i got a 419 at 3758 of arista just a hold on a second what are you doing? Mr. Here? Beddington, I'm Inspector Castillo with the Santa Barbara Police. I'll be with you in a second. Yeah, three, three, seven, five, eight. Make it a priority. A full team immediately. Thank you. Sir. Why? Why? What, what happened? I, uh, I just, I forgot my medication. Listen, we were going to call you. We just responded to a silent alarm and interrupted a burglary in progress, apparently. Was the safe behind the picture open? I don't know, sir. Like I say, we just interrupted it. He did get into the safe upstairs. The really valuable pieces are in here. Don't touch that, sir, please. There's a safe behind this picture. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, we didn't interrupt him soon enough. Cruz. Yeah. But you want to know, we got four clear footprints. <sighs> Looked like you brought a friend with him this time. Explain the new MO. Get the expert Mr. Wolf making neat down here. Have his friend making a mess upstairs. I understand you may not be in the mood, Mr. Beddington, but feel free to go back to the benefit if you'd like. We're going to wrap up our business here and uh, eventually we'll do what we can to get your property back. Sorry. Tell me what's going on here, guys. We got a world-class burglary. It pops open a state-of-the-art safe like it was a Cracker Jack box. And then trips the backup alarm. Freud says there are no mistakes. Yeah. And why all of a sudden is he working with a partner? He's getting empty. He wants to work with other people. Yeah. He's reaching out. Eden Castillo, please. Keep up the questions, Cruz. We'll give you a full psychological profile. He's uh, self-destructive, lonely. Misunderstood. Thanks. I gotta tell you something. You guys have been working together too long.
tried the bullet club, they said you hadn't arrived yet. Um, well, I guess I missed you. I'm at a burglar's site right now. Um, I'll meet you at the club later. Bye. Chat, Are you crazy? What are you here? What if the husband shows up? You've got a message. He'll be waiting for you at the polo club. You're really going to enjoy it, aren't you? Reporting on the charitable activities of the people you were about to rob. I have to change. You set me up. You're not going to get away with it. Augusta, uh, excuse me, have you seen Eden? Question of the hour. Come again? This self-important young man with a headset keeps charging in here every two minutes, bellowing, where the hell is Eden? Then he goes back in there like some ill-tempered cuckoo clock. Buy you a drink, officer? Uh, no. I guess you haven't heard anything from Julia yet? Not a word. I'm sorry. But you know Michael, he will, uh, he will find her. Oh, Michael's been wonderful. Police, Mason, very understanding. I keep calling too often, I know, but they're very patient. They know how upset I am. Uh-huh, listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. The strain is really getting to me, because just a few minutes ago, I had this exchange with Gina. Oh, God, it's wonderful. Caddy little remarks about her station in life. Julia would have been disgusted with me. Julia. Listen, uh, I, uh, forgive me if I'm sticking my nose where it doesn't belong, but I don't think you should keep drinking right now. It's, it's not good for you, especially when you're already worried. It's just going to make you feel worse. Is that possible? Well, never let it be said that I didn't take good advice. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Can I, can I give you a ride? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm I won't drive, I promise. But see, I can't go home right now because I have a, a few matters to take care of. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go, so uh, I'll leave you here. Is there something wrong? I... No, I'm just, I'm just looking for Eden. Um, take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, you too. I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks. See you. Excuse me. Mr. Barr didn't happen to slip by when my back was turned, did he? Uh, no, Mrs. Snell. Please don't call me that. I've changed my name now. It is Augusta Lockridge. Lockridge. Got it? I want to make something very clear. You stop grabbing at me. You don't threaten me, and you don't touch me. And you don't set me up. I didn't. Second alarm, you knew about it. I'm going to set you up, Andre. And hang around to get caught myself. You're playing some sort of game and you're enjoying it. The danger is exciting to Why you. Why don't we just skip the psychoanalysis? All right. Fine. If we were caught, you could have talked your way out of this. And run into your husband's arms. Right. And I would effectively be out of your life. Cruz may be smitten, but I don't think he'd laugh off the fact that he's married to a second-story woman. And if all the years that we've worked together doesn't mean anything to you... What a lovely sentiment, Lisa. I don't think you'd be stupid enough to think that Eden wouldn't want to explain this particular relationship to Cruz. He's hot-tempered, you know. I don't think he'd deal very well with the fact that his wife, devoted wife, had a criminal past and present. You know about the second alarm. Don't deny it. <sighs> so much. Fun. You trap me down, you want me to work with you, and then when things go wrong, you blame me. How about we go our separate ways, Andre? It would be my pleasure. Fine. Give me the diamond and I'm gone. Oh, stop harping on the diamond here. 
Here's the whole night's take. Just take it. Every single bit of it. You and I both know that this doesn't come close to the value of the diamond. No. It used to be a lot much more fun. My husband had time to check out the polo club. He's probably on the way back. I prefer not to meet him under the circumstances. But you and I will talk a little soon again, Lisa. Au revoir. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of anything! Who was in a panic at the polo club? I've been calling here all night. I know, I'm so late. Need some help with this? No, forget it. I hate it either way. Eden, what is going on? I just lost track of time. What? I, I, I mean, I gotta go do this telecasting, and Jerry would be mad at me. Will you slow down for a second, please, and tell me what is going on with you? I lost track of time. I just did, and, and been late to work a couple of times. I know you have been, and that's not like you. I know it's not like me. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm mad at myself. It's okay. You know, your father's been talking about us needing to take a vacation. I'm beginning to think he's right. But please, can we not talk about this? I have to cut this benefit. I have to beg for Jerry's forgiveness. I really gotta go. Darling, I'm on your side. You know that, right? I know. I've just really gotta go. I'll drive you. No, that's okay. I insist. In case you've forgotten, we have a date tonight, and I'm not gonna let you stand me up. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't want you to be sorry. I... I'm worried about you. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Yeah? How was your night? Business as usual. I show up at the front door while your pal Andre is sliding out the back window. He's not my pal. It's a figure of speech. Anyway, I doubt he'll be bothering you anymore. He's picked himself up a part now. What? Female by the size of her footprint. From the looks of her handiwork, we'll probably be nailing her before we ever get to him. Look, guys, I'm really, really sorry I'm late. Even that's fine with us. Yeah, but I gotta warn you, Jerry's on the warpath. He's going straight to the station manager. Oh, great. You know, it's kind of fun to have you in trouble and us be the good guys. Yeah, such funny guys. Oh, honey. Did you uh, find Augusta and, and tell yeah, her? Yeah, I did. She's uh, on her way to Tehachapi right now, I imagine. What's wrong? You look so serious. Do you remember what you were doing the night when I called while you didn't answer the phone? Look, I'm in trouble at work. I mean, isn't that punishment enough? I'm, I'm not trying to punish you, Eden. I'm just trying to find out what it is that's happening here, you know? I, your mom and the kids, I had some time. I took a bath, I relaxed, I lost track of the time. I, I never do it. I mean, it was just a luxury. Okay. But forgive me, I don't mean to make such a big deal of it. It's just... Um... I have to tell Ernie about the last edit. Sure. Well, I'm fine. Okay. Bruce. They yeah. found this outside the window. We checked. It's not from the house. Well, thank you, Brian. 